So I've got two stories here from Binding of the Comics that can both be summed up as get the fuck out of here. The first one is Elizabeth Banks blames failure of Charlie's Angels reboot on film being marketed as just for girls, quote unquote, ignores her own role in the narrative. Which is very true. I, you, they get to that here in a second. They talk about, yeah, yeah. They, they talk about how it basically it bombed, didn't do well. You know, surprising no one with an IQ above seventy this direction, basically trying to make it like a woke piece of shit. Led audiences to stay home, keeps their hard-earned money in their pockets. Oops. The film was a ma- was a massive box office bomb for Sony, debuting to a domestic opening weekend take of just eight million dollars, which is not good. According to the Banks, this disconnect between her film and audience was due to the film being regretfully marketed as a sort of feminist manifesto. You know, she talks about it's very stressful, probably because when women do things in Hollywood, it becomes a story, which of course is because they make it this, they make it the story. You know, she goes on, she talks about, I would have liked to have made Mission Impossible, but women aren't directing Mission Impossible. I was able to direct an action movie, frankly, because it starred women and I'm a female director and that is the confine right now in Hollywood. Yada, 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 you know, she talks about, uh, she was told to her face by a big producer of big action movies that I couldn't direct action, that male actors weren't going to follow me. And they, you know, and it says, Banks' latest comments coming in three, three years after the fact admittedly sound reasonable. You know, they, they talk about, it wouldn't be the first time it happened, like John Carter, Fight Club, jumped to mind immediately. But in reality, Banks has no one but herself to blame for the way the film was received by the public. In a 2019 interview, Banks made it very clear that she both intended for the film to be important to women and for its target audience to be young girls. When we were cast a movie, I wanted really fresh faces. I wanted a diverse cast. It's important that women, the audience for this movie, see themselves in some part of this movie. I think that's really important. I want the audience to feel a sense of ownership over the film, that they could be in this movie, that they could live in this world. It's a real message. It's a movie I want to entertain all audiences, but I did want to make something that felt important to women and especially young girls. You know, Banks would add that one of the ingredients of this movie was supporting and believing women... Apparently they didn't resonate. I'll move on to the second story. Stranger Things star Caleb McLaughlin claims he faces constant racism from fans. Because I was born with this beautiful chocolate skin. I'm not loved. Eh, get the fuck out of here, dude. What the fuck, you know? Uh, he's the latest actor to, to level such accusations against their own fan base. He recently claimed that he has faced constant and unrelenting bigotry from fans throughout his time on the popular Netflix series based on the fact that I'm black. Which is complete and utter bullshit. He spoke to this allegedly open discrimination during a September 25th appearance at the Heroes Comic Con in Belgium. Addressing the topic as a part of a meet and greet, he said that racism definitely took a toll on me as a younger kid, before offering up a story from his very first Comic Con as an example of what he had to endure. You know, uh, there, there it is. You could, I mean, I'll link it. I'm gonna link, I'll link these stories in the description box if you want to see that for yourself. I'm not going to play it, but... Uh, here, here's basically a transcript. There are some people who didn't stand in my line because I was black. You know, basically after the first season when he was mean to Eleven. Some people told me, oh, I didn't want to be in your line because you were mean to Eleven. Even now, some people don't follow me or don't support me because I'm black. Sometimes overseas, you feel the racism, you feel the bigotry. Sometimes it's hard to talk about them for people to understand. But when I was younger, it definitely affected me a lot. Though better able to weather those supposed instances of racism now as an adult, he admitted that they were harder on him when he was younger. Why am I the least favorite? The least amount of followers. I'm on the same show as everybody from season one. To, you know, turning to his parents for comfort said that in turn they had to be like, it's a sad truth, but it's because you're the black child on the show. Say so it's like you get indoctrinated, basically. It's like you were the you were like the least likable character in season one. You know, because of the whole thing with Mike. The way they had portrayed it and stuff was basically like he was you know, Lucas was being a dickhead, essentially. But anyway, uh, the information made him realize I was born with this beautiful chocolate skin. I'm not loved. Blah, blah, blah. That, that's why my platform, I want, or with my platform, I want to spread positivity and love because I do not give hate back to people who give hate to me. Then you'll talk about the fifth and final season. Yada, yada, yada. There's some pictures of it. It's just, get the fuck out of here, dude. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, you got the least amount of followers. Maybe because those other people, you know, they actively get involved with things. You know, may, maybe... You know, although I would say that uh, uh, Noah Schnapp, Schnapp, whatever is his name, the one who plays Will, he's not he's not some huge star either. You know, I mean, okay, is, why is why is this guy bigger? Why is it you know, you know when you default to it's got to be racism or in this case it's got to be sexism. It's like that's a that's a bad way to live your life because you're gonna see it everywhere. If you're looking for racism, if you're looking for sexism, you're gonna find it. 
and just even the, the smallest of slights. Oh, that cashier was rude to me. Oh, it's, it's racism. It's sexism. It's whatever. Couldn't be the fact that they're, maybe, maybe they're just a bitch or a dick. You know, maybe, maybe you did something to offend them. You know, maybe, maybe it was this. Maybe, I mean, it could be a million things. But when you default to racism, sexism, that's where I was like, man, get the fuck out of here. It's just stupid. Anyway, I'll go ahead and wrap this up here. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.